You'll love my beef pops with pineapple and parsley sauce. I'm gonna make the marinade for my beef pops. I'm gonna start with a little bit of garlic. It's getting the right combinations in the marinade that make the beef pops so yummy. A little sugar to balance out the acidity of the red wine vinegar. It's funny, there's a purpose for everything. Then we're gonna add half a cup of olive oil. Here we go, a little Italian in this. And it's beautiful and green. And that's what I like, you'll see the green on the meat and you'll also see the, um, the yellow from the pineapple. I'm telling you, the combination of flavors is phenomenal. We'll get rid of this one and grab my bowls. And that's what's so great about this, is that in no time I have both a marinade and a dipping sauce. And it's kind of special, and the flavors are sort of different too. So it's very, it's very fashionable. So I went to the butcher and I had him basically cut up some beef, about one and a half pounds of beef tenderloin. And it's nice and tender, so it kind of melts in your mouth when you eat it. And if you want to use a different cut of meat, you can, but you just have to make sure and let it marinate for a little bit longer. So about four to five hours if you can use a different cut. But my favorite is the beef tenderloin. Three quarter inch pieces. And I call ahead and just have the butcher do it for me. So that way when I have to get you know a party together, I can just do it kind of quick, cut a few corners. So just make sure all the beef is coated with the marinade. It smells good. I'm very excited about this. Just want to cover it up with a little plastic wrap. And I want it to sit in the fridge for a couple of hours to marinate. There. Look how beautiful this platter is. It's like the perfect platter to put something grilled like this. My little beef pops. Beef and pineapple, <sighs> parsley. We've got the dipping sauce. There we go. Look how gorgeous that looks.